so let's have a overview of what the topics that have we completed till now okay so we have completed the collection interface the list interface the implementation class array list of the is list interface the implementation class link list of the list interface vector stack now what we will see we will go to set so the list interface is now completed congratulations now we will go to set okay now in the set interface we will see hash set that is a implementation class of set and a linked hash set that is a child class of hash set it is also an implementation class of set okay now let's have an introduction to set interface so in set interface the first point is set is a child interface of collection as you can see in the previous slide also the set is a child interface of collection next if we want to represent a group of individual objects a single entity this is the definition of collection where duplicates are not allowed and insertion order is not preserved so these two are the important points these are the differentiating points between list and set where in list duplicates were allowed and insertion order is were preserved but here duplicates are not allowed and the insertion order is not preserved in this cases if our logic demands that the duplicate should not be allowed and the insertion order should not be preserved then we should opt for set okay as you can see in mathematics set also if you have 1 2 3 if you have 2 3 1 or if you have 1 3 2 then these three are equal the insertion order or the duplicates are not allowed okay next is the set interface does not contain any new methods so as list interface contains some different methods from collection interface okay but the set interface does not contain any new methods so we have to only use collection interface methods fine so this was a small introduction to set interface next we will see the implementation class of the set interface that is hash set so the hash set class implements the set interface so when hash set class implements the set interface it has to implement every function every method in the set interface but we do not have any new methods so it implements all the methods of the collection interface inside it okay so this was the next is underlying data structure is hash table so hash set is based on the data structure that is hash table i will give you just a small introduction to hash table uh, in few minutes but hash table it will be present in the data structure videos Now the insertion order may or may not be maintained. Obviously, if we are talking about set, so the insertion order may or may not be maintained. It is not guaranteed. Insertion is done using hash code of the objects. So insertion is done using hash code of the object. So I will just give you a small introduction to hash code or hash tables. Okay. Next, duplicates are not allowed. Obviously, if our most frequent operation is searching, then we should use hash set. Okay. Now I will explain these two points. that is a hash table point and the, if our most frequent operation is searching then why we should use hash sets okay so let me give you a small introduction or small, small idea of hash table if you haven't seen the data structure videos you will get a small idea okay so for example this is my hash table so in the hash table we actually have buckets for the linked list we call them nodes for arrays we call them memory spaces so here we call them buckets okay so it is 0 1 2 i have second one third fourth fifth sixth seventh so we will have around 10 buckets so this is 9 0 to 9 will become 10 okay now the elements that i want to insert here in my hash table because my hash set underlying structure is hash table therefore i am explaining the hash table so for example 121 145 132 and 900 199 these are my elements that i want to insert into my hash table okay so for inserting into the hash table we have something known as hash function or hash code okay for example in this case i have mod 10 i have x mod 10 this is my hash function fine so whenever i have x x is x are these values that i want to insert okay so first is 121 so what is 121 mod 10 121 mod 10 will give you a 1 so insert 121 in the bucket number 1 so i will insert it here In the bucket number one, then we have 145. So 145 mod 10 will simply give me a five. So insert 145 in the bucket number five. So bucket number five will be some somewhere here. So we will have 145 in this place. Then 132, the mod 10 will be two. So simply add in the second bucket and 199 in the last bucket. That is nine because the mod will be nine. Okay. This is how values are stored into a hash table using a hash function. Okay, now while searching is very fast in hash table. 
it is actually of order of one that is a constant time the searching is in constant time why if i want to search 145 what all i have to do is again mod it to 10 when i mod it to 10 i will get a value 5 i know that it is present in the bucket number 5 okay if you want to search in an array there are linear search and binary search that is not of constant time that is order of log n or order of n okay similarly in a linked list it takes order of n but in hash table it takes order of one that is a constant time therefore if our frequent operation is searching then we should use hash set we should use hash set as hash set underlying data structure is hash table i hope you understood it so the points are if our frequent operation is searching then we should use hash set fine let's see the constructors in hash set okay so hash set h is equal to new hash set so this is a class name this is simply our reference variable and this is the object creation so this is a constructor call fine so this creates an empty hash set this create an empty hash set so the default value is 16 that is a default initial capacity is 16 i have explained what is default initial capacity in array also in the array list also and the new term here is fill ratio the new term here is fill ratio or the load factor is 0 0.75 so let's just revise what we have done in array and what is different in array list and hash set in terms of default initial capacity and fill ratio suppose this is my array okay and a reference variable for example la list is pointing here this was created using a default constructor that specifies 10 a default capacity to be 10 if i add all the variables in this till here and if i want to add one more variable what it will do it will copy all the elements to a new position it will copy all the elements to a new array list it will change the reference from here to here and it will add the 11th element it will add the 11th element now what is the new capacity the new capacity will be the current capacity into 3 by 2 plus 1 this was the new capacity when we needed when our 100 percent of our array was filled then we do these steps okay the computer do these steps but in the case of has set we don't only have the initial capacity that is nothing but 16 but we also have a load factor we also have a load factor that is 75 percent nothing or 0 0.75 so when 75 percent of the 16 values are filled at that time only computer creates a new hash table and this hash table is from 0 to 31 that is doubles it doubles so the new capacity will be the current capacity multiplied by 2 okay so the new capacity is the current capacity multiplied by 2 so the load factor is is 75 percent so 16 75 percent of 16 is nothing but 12 so when 12 elements are filled in this hash table at that time a new hash table is created and these values are copied these values are copied so this was how internal working happens okay the second constructed is new hash set now we define the initial capacity now we define the initial capacity as you can see here the load factor remains default that is 0 0.75 it is a default load factor next is we define the initial capacity and also the load factor we define the initial capacity and also the load factor if you give the load factor as 0 0.50 so whenever 50 percent of our hash table is filled at the same time the new hash table will be created and it will be doubled the double of the initial capacity next is for interconversion between collection objects so if i pass here an array list or a linked list it will be converted into a hash set fine so this is for the interconversion between collection objects now since all the method set does not have any new methods all the methods are from the collection we have seen all these methods when we were doing array list and linked list okay so we will do a small program now so we will do a small program now so let us begin the coding part so we will have hash set hash set is nothing but uh, my class name hash set is nothing but my class name so hash set we will pass my type parameter that is let's say this time we use string as our type parameter so generics is used here then hash set my reference variable equals to new hash set okay let me add some values so has set dot add we will use the add function this add function is implemented but it is defined in our collection class okay since it is an interface there is only definition not implementation the has set implements it okay the has set implements it so add delhi for example i am adding delhi okay let me add a few more values so pune mumbai agra Chennai, so we have south also. Now we have south, north, west. Let's say Assam, Purist. Fine. Right? 
so now we have delhi pune mumbai agra chennai assam what if i try to add a duplicated element what if i try to add a duplicated element because duplicates are not allowed as we have seen so will it show me an error will it show me a compile time error or will, or will it show me a runtime error let's see so if i want to add delhi again so there is no compile time error there is no runtime error there is just a warning the duplicate set element this is just a warning and not an error so why it says that it prevents duplications let's see dot add method was just a boolean method it just it is just a boolean method if it adds correctly if it adds the object into the collection then it returns true if if it does not add the object it returns false okay let's see what it will return if i s out it that is system dot 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 print ln let's see if, if it will return true or if it will return false fine so as you can see it returns me a false so since it returns me a false it tells me that no delhi is included twice so okay no string is included twice if i even print it so let me print has set this is before i try including a duplicate element and this is after i try in including a duplicate element so both values will be same fine first one also i have delhi pune mumbai agra chennai assam and next one also i will have the same so delhi will not be included delhi will not be included twice or any other element will not be included twice it will simply return me a false the add method will return me a false next what we can do there or not if pune is there in our hash set or not so s out it's very simple hash set let me write hash set contains pune or not contains pune is true or false okay is true or false so simply hash set dot contain and i dot contain is my method and i will simply pass pune as an object okay so if i run it the it it should print me a true value it should print me a true value because pune does pune is in our hash set so hash set contains pune is true so this was dot contains method we can also use the hash set dot remove method so if i remove agra if i remove agra so after removing agra let's find out the system dot dot print ln what will print in our hash set so it will remove our agra simply so agra will be removed okay so what next so let's see the clear function hash set dot clear as you can see the agra is removed so hash set dot clear it will clear my hash set fine and if i now check if my hash set is empty or not is empty or not so it should print a true it should print a true yes that my hash set is empty so these functions we have seen in array list also i was just showing you the difference i was just showing you how you can use hash set okay now the first point that you should notice here duplication is not allowed and the insertion order is not same so i inserted delhi first and then pune but here delhi chennai assam is last but here assam is third so the insertion order is not maintained in set interface okay so this proves it the insertion order is not maintained and if i try to add delhi again or I, I i try to add assam again it will return me a false and it will not add this is also i have shown then has set contains methods then we have tried for the remove method we have also tried for a clear method fine so you can use any method that is present in my collection interface so this was has set after has set we will see its child class that is linked has set let's see so linked has set is a child class of has set okay let's see the difference there is not much difference in linked hash set and hash set the constructors are also same the difference is the underlying data structure is hash table in hash set and in linked hash set the underlying data structure is hash table plus linked list and this linked list is actually a doubly linked list insertion order is not preserved and the most important difference is in linked hash set insertion order is preserved because we are using doubly linked list the insertion order is preserved so in set if you want insertion order to be preserved and duplicates not to be allowed then in that case we will use linked hash set so duplicates are not allowed that is not a difference okay in this also duplicates are not allowed but the difference is in hash set insertion order is not preserved but in linked hash set insertion order is preserved and we are using with hash table doubly linked list also so this was introduced in 1.2 version and linked hash set was introduced in 1.4 version so these are the only differences these are the only major differences there is no other difference between linked hash set and hash set i will just do a simple program to show you that the insertion order is preserved here and the insertion order was not preserved in hash set so we have seen that insertion order was not preserved in hash set correct let me just define a linked hash set in the same program so we have linked hash set string okay linked hash set equals to 
new linked hash set fine and i will add these values same i will add the same values so link has set dot add daily more values so what i have done here as you can see i have added more values now i have a link has set reference variable and a has set reference variable so let's now print so this is this was a print function for has set so let me just write has so this was a print function for this now let's just print simply our second one that is system dot dot print ln we will have linked hash set linked hash set hash set plus our reference variable so let's see if the insertion order is preserved or not i have shown you that in hash set insertion order is not preserved but in linked hash set the insertion order is preserved so so as you can see i have added delhi first so here it is delhi then i have added pune so in linked hash set we have a pune okay then you can see mumbai agra chennai assam so delhi so we have delhi pune mumbai agra chennai assam so the insertion order is preserved in our linked hash set but it is not preserved in our hash set as you can see here it is delhi then pune here it is delhi and chennai but in linked hash set the insertion order is preserved so this is the only difference between hash set and linked hash set so depending upon the logic of your program okay the need you will choose hash set or you will choose linked hash set fine so this was in set we have seen the implementation class hash set and its child class linked hash set now we will move to the second part of set interface